about the basic footwork side by side from left to right, right to left in my previous video. So in the following two videos, I will talk about two more advanced footwork. One is called pivot footwork. The other one is called crossover footwork. Today, we will start it with the easier one, pivot footwork first. So let's jump into it. The first question we are going to solve in this video is, when or in what kind of situation do we use this pivot footwork? Most of the time, we use pivot footwork at backhand side with a forehand topspin loop or forehand smash, which means when the ball comes to your backhand side around here, and it is the ball is a little bit high and easy to kill, so we wanted to use forehand because forehand has higher accuracy and has more power for to most of the players. So we wanted to turn our body and get a position to use a forehand stroke. The second question is, why do we have to use pivot footwork? But why not just use the basic side-by-side -side footwork? That's because when we use forehand at backhand corner, there is no, nothing block us. Unlike the center part, we can't do pivot footwork because if we do it, the table is here that block us. So here, see, that's nothing blocking us. Besides, the pivot footwork could get us in the perfect position to use a forehand topspin loop or smash and easy for us to recover. The last and the most important question is, how do we do this pivot footwork? Don't worry, I will give you only three steps to teach you how to do it. Step one, stand at backhand side and do the ready position. Step number two, move over both of your feet at the backhand corner and your body turns to the table. The key point is to put your left leg, if you are a right-handed player, put your left leg inside the bottom line of the table and your right leg outside of the bottom line of the table. So try not to put your both sides inside of the bottom line because that will be too hard for you to move over to your forehand. So move over and back and corner. Third, move back and recover to the ready position. So the whole process looks like this. Ready, backhand, move over, backhand corner, face to the table. Move back, recover. That's it. Isn't that easy? Okay, let's check out my demonstration.
today's lesson. Please leave your comments and let me know if I made this video easy for you to understand. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. There has more table tennis tutorials waiting for you to explore. Alright, I wish you have a wonderful day. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.